I wasn't gonna start the vlog on my run today. But, you know, sometimes when you see something unexpected that speaks to you, you just gotta share it. I'm just getting to the lakefront. Grant's resting today. But look at that. Speak good to yourself. I think that's a second daily message for the day. But at the beginning of the vlog, and at the end. I know it's not the time-lapse intro that you always see right away, but I couldn't not. The city just had me going. Look at this beautiful skyline. Look at this beautiful park. Getting 10 miles in this morning. That's what Chicago does to Peter Brookhart. Woo! Navy Pier's closed right now, but it'll open. And it'll be fun. Look at this. Oh, I missed it. sleeping baby in a creaky floor and you're too scared to walk to the living room and you're like a baby so you hang out but you want to hang out with your spouse so you sit in the tub and eat hummus and give tortilla to your dog yeah. if you're wondering if i fell asleep while getting the baby to nap the answer is yes and now i am organizing the bathroom without the true organization that we're going to get for in here but just to make it manageable in the meantime. New stroller. Well, it's not a new stroller, but we just never put him in it before. He was theoretically in it in this car seat, right? Yeah, at the airport. Yeah. Guys, this is the city mini select. My mom and Welcome dad got us it. They got us it. But it's also inspired by the Earhearts. They yes. have a red one. Yes. And it's put on plenty of miles in Disney World. Yes. And now James is in his. It's just easier when it's like we have everything in the backpack ready to go that to just break it down, bring it with, to be on the and go. And big enough to fit in it. Yeah, rather than, than doing the bugger bit. Right. Because this would probably be regular to go to Casino and Grants. I'm yeah. just gonna keep cutting off Sarah. dinner. Let's go see what she's making. What's for dinner, Steenie Meanie? We're gonna do Greek burrito balls. Ooh. I am going to make this little potato zucchini concoction in the air fryer. I'm going to do the potatoes for longer though. So I'm gonna put in four potatoes for like 15 minutes in the air fryer olive oil, oregano, salt, pepper, lemon juice. And then after that 15 minutes, throw in the zucchini. Welcome to my cooking channel. <laughs> okay, so I need the salt. More. 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 Good job. You shaky, shaky. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, you're the best. Um, tell me, how did you make the idea? More. Woohoo! Can you help me pour? Baby? I put a little more of these and 
I put the little of these to make it sweet. Oh, see. That was a good try. To make it sweet. I realized I didn't look to see if I had olives. Yeah, I did. I love zucchini. You do? Yeah. That's great. It's really good for you. Yeah, to make it You are. And mommy knows I need to be a big girl. She doesn't? No, I need to be a baby. What? So that she could keep you small forever? Yeah, but that one, I'm happy to, to be bigger. You want to be bigger? I will, thank you. And go once and half. Twice and half. while the kids help Christina and Sarah cook and it's just like some well needed James and Dad time because Dad didn't have the best day to work. Yeah. You love this comfy couch and you love minions. Uh oh. Do we need to go back to Disney World? Look at that. Dedicated concentration. Are you a you know are you a universal fan more than a Disney World fan? Luca loves minions too. I think this kid's gonna break a tooth soon. He's just chomping away. So we did not realize how chilly it was. We've had like a couple of days in the 60s, but it's definitely in the 50s tonight. So I have Christina's jacket on. Peter didn't even wear a jacket at all. So we might have to borrow some sweatshirts on our way home. But there's a couple of things that we wanted for dinner that Christina didn't have. So I'm running to this little fresh produce market on Belmont. Hopefully they have what we need. So that market was so nice. They had everything under the sun, like spices and sauces, the produce, any vegan substitute you can think of, wine and beer. Like you could go full on grocery shopping there. I just wasn't expecting that. I didn't really look at all of the prices to see if it would be like comparable or affordable too, but like just in a pinch even. So good to know it's right by the train, the Belmont station. And I got baklava and brownies. Violet was a really nice cousin and shared part of her cookie with James. Ooh. And he loved it. I got baklava to go with our. I think you're saying baklava. <laughs> you're, not, you're not like emphasizing the baklava. Baklava for our Mediterranean night. Look at these bowls. Balsamic glaze. We are, I love a good I love bowl. I love a warm bowl. Cause then you could just switch up whatever you want. And it's easy. Yeah. I did put feta and tzatziki sauce on it, but they also are eating chicken. We have Greek potatoes, some spinach, banana peppers, and rice. From start to finish, what happened? Uh, I was sitting in the tree house. In the tree house, and then you sat down confident. Then what happened? Who was in there? Who was in there? All the mean girls. All the mean girls. <laughs> and then what happened? I mean, I mean, and then 
a baby is in here. And how do they say it? A baby is in here. They said a baby's in here and then they all started to swamp. Did they run away or did they stay and play with you? Run away. What? I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. <laughs> Mommy was right there, right? Oh I didn't let God. nobody hurt no baby. Then you went down skin. the slide with some other friends. Yeah, CC. <gasps> Who is CC? <laughs> so good, so good, so um, good. <laughs> so good. Are you? What's going on under here? <laughs> Sweetie boy. We want to show you guys this real quick. This is the Vic Theater. One year dark, no shows since 3, 13, 20. Wow. We're out of here. We're walking home. Yes. Freaking Belmont home. I'm showing him the fresh market. I loved it so much. I might, I'm trying to like convince her to go in there and get like a fancy drink for herself. Maybe for both of us. But, um. I want you to go in too. We're walking home. This city mini store is like, I figured it's a jogger. And it's so nice and just moves so simple and yeah. elegantly. I just had to show it again because it's super stinking cute. Come on in, Peter. Look at they have Cigar City here, but they don't have Rum City. I'm literally gonna ask them if they can order Rum City for me. So the two gentlemen working, I asked them if so Cigar City brews Rome City. And I know it sounds confusing because the naming convention. But they said they'll ask the guy that delivers and drops off everything on Wednesdays when they get like their specialty beers. And I said, I, listen, like, I'm just some guy, but like, if you get it, I'll come back and buy it. Because I love that it's stuff. It's a nice little, like, maybe not like full on grocery shop, but so cute. That's the closest thing to like, I was trying to explain, I think, to Grant earlier that like, um, like, you don't, I feel like Chicagoans don't use the term bodega. Uh huh. Like we we have like seven, our Seven Elevens and dumped in like these neighborhoods have like anything you can imagine like like a bodega, but they're not like your New York's looking corner like everything marked. Right. But that like that was but yeah, and but they're smaller. Okay. But they're small. Like they're literally oh. Sarah spotted this Chicago Diner ad next to Pokey Pokey. Yeah, so that that, that place is really nice. Yeah, and it's so and close. They had produce, they had all that good stuff. Yeah, and the pinch, we'll go back. They had so many different, like, I don't know, like, good things to spunk up your meal. Right, and I'm going to give them a hard time. I'm going to go back there Wednesday and look for the Rome City, which is a bittersweet. Like, not that I'm, I don't want to get it, because I, I would love to get it. But, like, if I go and they have it, I have to get it. And if I go and they don't have it, I get to razz them. And Sarah knows. You love a good razz. I love a good razz. Oh, that couldn't even make it all the way home, but he's holding on to his, he's holding on to his Mickey ring for the dear life. All right, here's the lot. We're at Lark. We're in front of Lark. Drinks and dining. They have, oh yeah, no, it says Friday. Friday, March 12th through Sunday. They've got green beer, some Guinness pints and whisk, Irish whiskey, some brunches, but I think we're going to go tomorrow for the fish and chips. Yeah. And if they're doing it, uh, I'm going to get some, some green Bud Light to begin the uh, St. Patrick's Day weekend celebration. So I saw this online earlier, but I think it's cool they have a sign. Respicare Oxytocin for air purifiers throughout the restaurant. It cleans the air in seconds. And they have an outdoor patio. They only take reservations for six or more, but we're only three. Yeah. So we're gonna try to hit this up tomorrow, right after the hork. All about the endless fish. I'm gonna eat 17 pieces of fish tomorrow. I think they have board games. Ooh, James wants to play some board games. Did we, in fact, bring him up the stairs to our apartment still in his drawers because he was asleep? Yes, we did. Is he still holding on to his Mickey Mouse? Yes, he is. Well, check that out. 13 years ago today, I had back surgery, spinal transfusion. Today's the 11th. The message is by Marianne Williamson. Ego says, once everything falls into place, I'll feel peace. Spirit says, find your peace and everything will fall into place. Well, I had some bit of a endless puzzle. Gives me a little agita. Okay, you see dad? 
our fun day has come to an end. Is it good to be home, Jamesy boy? We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.